Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at and installing the RTR side rocker splitters for all 2018 Mustangs. These install right underneath your factory side rocker panels and they'll install both fasteners and double sided 3M tape. They're made from an injection molded TPO material and they have a grainy texture so they're going to match this factory side rocker panel. They're a great way to add just a little exterior styling. They cost about 200 bucks and the install is easy, I'll call it a 1 out of 3 wrenches in the difficulty meter. You will need to drill four holes, and I'll show you how to get these on the car now. For this install, we used a drill with a quarter inch drill bit, a ratchet with a T20 Torx, we did use a pair of vice grips, and you'll need a pry tool. So the RTR side splitters do go all underneath the side rocker panel here. That's why I don't have the car in a lift. I'm actually using a set of race ramps. You guys can use race ramps or a set of jack stands. Just give yourself enough room so that you can lay underneath the car because we will be underneath the side rocker panel here. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the splash shields that are on the side rocker panel here and you guys need a T20 Torx bit for that. Alright, so in the back here you have two bolts that are holding these in so we'll remove both of those. All right, we have one push pin in the very back wheel well that's holding this in. So we're just gonna go ahead, grab that plastic push pin out, and then this will be removed. There are eight push pins holding the factory rocker panel in place. We are going to remove all eight of those push pins. I'm gonna go ahead with this little tool right here and remove all eight of these push pins. They can be a little bit hard to get to because they are in a recessed area. If you get onto the corner of one, you should be good to go. Keep in mind too, they are really long, so they're gonna be difficult to get out. All right, at this point, I'm gonna switch over to a pair of pliers just because the end of this thing is getting pretty beat up. So I'm gonna grab it with the pliers and pull it out. Alright, once again, I got it started, but I'm going to grab it with the pliers. That might be a little trick that you guys want to try at home too. It's a little bit easier if I slide this tool up under the factory rocker panel, then pull the little clip out of the body prior to removing the clip from the rocker panel. Especially as you start to remove more clips, it'll become easier and easier to pull down on your factory rocker panel. So at this point we have a mild soup and water mixture on our microfiber towel and we are just going to clean the bottom of the rocker panel because the RTR side splitters will install with both 3M tape and some push pins. We want to make sure that the 3M tape has a nice clean surface to bond to. So RTR gives you both an alcohol prep pad and adhesion promoter. Once you clean off the surface, you're going to use both alcohol and adhesion promoter. Now we're going to use our adhesion promoter. Okay guys, at this point we're ready for our first side splitter. I will say they are side specific, so make sure you grab the correct side. You'll know which side you have 
by this edge right here. This edge that turns, this needs to go in the front. So we know we have the passenger side side splitter right now. From here, what we're gonna do is peel back just a couple inches of the backing on the 3M tape, and then we're gonna line the splitter up and get it on the car. All right, so we're only gonna peel back a little bit. We're gonna leave ourselves a tab. Then we're gonna line the splitter up, get it on the car with the provided push pins. So the RTR side splitters are nice because you guys can see they just fold right up into your factory splitters and then they give you a new push pin so you don't have to worry about your factory hardware. So we're just going to keep going along here and push our push pins into place. Alright, so if you guys experience any problems, just make sure that you are perfectly lined up before you push your push pins into place. So at this point, we're going to peel the backing off of the 3M tape and then push firmly into place so we get our 3M tape applied. From there, we're going to go back underneath the rocker panel and we have four holes that we'll need to drill. But let's go ahead and grab the backing on the 3M tape. Now we'll press firmly into place. Okay, so now the splitter is sitting perfectly. We're gonna go back underneath the car and drill four quarter inch holes. So RTR gives you pilot holes in the bottom of their splitter so you know where you'll need to be drilling. This is one of them right here. We're just gonna go ahead and drill into it. We're gonna be drilling into the bottom of our plastic factory side rocker panel. So we're not gonna be going into any metal or into the car at all. Let's go ahead and start. With our hole drilled, we'll go ahead and use one of the supplied push pins and get that in place and then move on to drilling the next hole. All right, then we'll grab our push pin and push that in. Okay, with the hole drilled, we'll push the push pin in. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up this review and install, but keep in mind that you can always check these out more online. I'm Stephanie, and for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericaMuscle.com.